San Diego lab could make a big difference in fighting breast cancer. Earlier this evening, we had a chance to speak with Dr. Jeffrey Wall from the Salk Institute's Gene Expression Laboratory about the discovery made in his lab that could help save lives. In breast cancer, uh, we can remember uh, that there are multiple types and we have drugs against some of them. For example, if a woman is diagnosed, 65% or so of women will have cancers that have the estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor in them. We have drugs to antagonize the activity of those receptors. HER2, another receptor that causes the cells to grow, we have drugs against that. But it's 20 or 30 percent of the cancers that are called triple negative. They don't have a name. And because they don't have a name, we don't have to treat them. That's part of the discovery that we made. We're starting to give them a name. And in this case, the name that comes up is a particular gene that Chris Dravis found to be linked to them, and that's called SOX10. Dr. Wall also spoke about how his lab's discovery gives clues to why cancer cells move from their place of origin, one of the reasons why people lose their battle with cancer. A lot of cutting-edge research in this area, Christian. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, coming up on the